When it comes to figuring out how healthy you are and how long you might live, a cardiac stress test is often considered the gold standard for giving doctors very specific information. For their risk of a heart attack and dying from a heart attack in the next one, three or five years. But what if you could predict your longevity quickly, easily and without even leaving your home? Like that? Today in St. Louis, reporter Dana Dean just perfectly executed the sitting rising test. Scientific studies over the past 15 years have proven if you have trouble getting down and getting back off the floor, it's nothing to laugh at. Oh, there's no way. Am I supposed to sit? Yes. And then not use my hands? Yes. Oh, this is not going to happen. Scores are based on a scale from 1 to 10. On her first try, Heidi scored a 6. I better start stretching now. <laughs> Oh. Well, yes, but apparently not the right way. <laughs> She's actually on to something. Dr. Kloju Aruju invented SRT to easily measure non-aerobic physical fitness. He's the one standing here in his lab in Brazil. When I spoke with him via Skype from his home in Rio, he told me the idea came from observing his older sedentary patients who could pass basic aerobic tests. Many of them are able to bike or to, ride or to run in a treadmill, but you, if you ask them, could you tie your shoes? Oh, I, it's pretty difficult to do that. The goal is to get down and back up from a sitting position using minimal support. It can be used in all age groups. Score three or less, and your risk of dying is five times greater over the next five years. It may look and sound easy, Here's how you do it. You cross your feet and go into a seated position without losing your balance. That's five points. Come back up without losing your balance is another five. But you can lose points really fast. You lose a point for each hand, arm, or knee you need for support. Take off half a point when you lose your balance at any time, either on the way down or coming back up. Total them all for your final score. If you had bad knees or hips, don't try this at home. Stuck the landing on that one. Have a friend, have a spouse, have a partner with us uh, when we do this. Be sure to take off your shoes and wear comfortable clothes. Meteorologist Cindy Pressler, a little shaky on the way down, but a very impressive nine and a half. Okay, and now I have to get back up. Very good. Sarah Daly, a perfect 10. Art Holiday. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little off balance. That's immediately the thing that you notice. You know, you're trying to steady yourself and, and lower yourself. And, you know, at 6'4", you know, it's a little problematic. <laughs> we'll give him a seven and a half. But for every point you get, there's a 21% decrease in mortality from all causes. Our cardiologist, Dr. Lim, says it makes sense. More active we are. The better we can accommodate stressors, the more likely we are to handle something bad that happens down the road. Reporter Ryan Dean scored an eight and a half. I struggle at many things and just add this one to the list, Kay. As for Heidi, she's still working on it. Can you hear the cracking in the knee? By the way, if you're over 50 and score a perfect 10, you should be proud because not many people in that age group can do it.